what's up guys? It's your boy South Philly James here and today we are talking about something I'm sure I'll get everybody mad about and that is uh, I guess you'd call them cartoons. I feel like they're more of a, a genre of adult cartoons or more of a, do a genre of a, a more widespread demographic as far as cartoons. And of course, it's like I'll name off a few. These these shows, like, um, it's pretty much Cartoon Network stuff. And I mean Cartoon Network, I mean not Adult Swim. I mean Cartoon Network. I think it started around the time Adventure Time and Regular Show started. And I'm sure there's people of that are of my age who love those shows. My problem is this. And I do, I do write. It's not like I don't. I, I, I've written many things, nothing, you know, made because I'm a fucking loser, but my point is, is that I've, I've written many things, and I, 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 I realize that these shows have won awards, and these are good shows, and, you know, I'm not knocking that, but my point is that stuff like Regular Show and Adventure Time are, are just kind of, I wouldn't say weird, but just strange. Because I don't like these shows that are cartoons and they're going to be funny and they're, they're very bright and very drawn well. But then there's these episodes where you have to fucking make sure you've watched every episode to understand what's going on. A perfect example of this is my friend. Um, he watches Steven Universe. And I have no problem with Steven Universe. I mean, I don't watch it. Which is, you know, I don't have a problem with it because I don't watch it. I'm not a fan of it. It's one Emmys. It's one primetime Emmys for a bunch of stuff. You know, so has Adventure Time. So I'm sure so has regular regular show, you know who who I don't know, but the point is is that these shows they win awards and I get it that they're good and kids like them, but I don't know where the demographic is. Not that there's a problem with that, it's the fact that there's these episodes that get really it's it's a real kind of factor in where it just feels like it should be taken seriously and I I don't find that. To be a thing. I, I think it's doing too much. That's, I guess that's my main problem. I feel like half the time the shows like that are doing too much as far as, uh, you know, oh, we're a fun little show and then it's like, oh, we're serious now. This is a serious episode. I feel like that's, that's kind of weird. I feel like you should either be one or the other. When it comes to cartoons, there's shows like Scrubs where they'll have funny episodes and funny stuff happening, but then there's episodes where they can be serious because, you know, for one, it takes place in a hospital. So people die, and it's just a, that's just a thing in life. And then also the fact that you know it's a live action thing, and it's hard to take a cartoon seriously. As much as I love cartoons, and I'm a big fan of them, one of my favorites, Rick and Morty. You know the basics. Um, back in the day, I used to watch Courage the Cowardly Dog, Dexter, Johnny Bravo, Ed and Nettie. You know all the different stuff back on Cartoon Cartoon Fridays. I think now there's a point where I hit a curve growing up where I started watching, you know, um, Futurama, Family Guy, uh, American Dad, all the stuff on Adult Swim. But that's the thing with, I think, these new cartoons that I have an issue with is just the, the demographic is so hard to find. And also, it's the fact that I feel like it takes itself too seriously when it's trying to be a funny cartoon. Now, I don't know if the cartoons are supposed to be funny. I don't watch Adventure Time. I don't watch Regular Show. I don't watch Steven Universe. Steven Universe, I think, is good on the concept that the music... There's, I've seen episodes where the music is, is pretty great because they have people who you know, are, are musically gifted and, and actual musicians. And I think a lot of those shows are... I don't know. I guess not... They, they try to be everything at once from what I've seen and again I don't watch them enough to be like oh yeah this this show's awful and one show I can call awful is Uncle Grandpa I can't stand that fucking show I don't get why people watch that I, I honestly think that's the type of show you watch when you're on acid um but like even even stuff like that it, it just it just agitates me there's one rarity that I've seen that has a constant factor of episodes. I think this is where I make an exception because it, um, I'm a really big fan of Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls has been only two seasons and it's been a constant you know, episodic thing. Maybe not every episode, but I think it's easier to watch because of the two seasons. I've seen a commercial the other day. Adventure Time's on season 7. They just released down on DVD. Season 7! I can't follow that shit, okay? 
I ain't got time. At some point, I'm just going to give up on it. It, it. I stick to shows that are simple to watch and easy. When I'm, you know, trying to watch TV or trying to just chill, I'll fucking watch Adventures of Gumball because Gumball is just, you know, it reminds me of the old days of, like, Rockers Modern Life where I just watch an episode, laugh about it, next episode, and you don't have to remember anything from their life. There's, it's just simple stays to the point and you know you can just you don't have to stay invested into a show i think when i watch Ameri uh, america dead i think when i watch adventure time i think it's one of those things where i stay invested and i don't want to stay invested with shit like that it, it, it feels like too much of a job and that's why i don't it's like it's like it's like when i've talked about um playing farmville or whatever those games are you know uh army of tanks or whatever those shows are fallout shelter um uh clash of clans stuff like that fallout or fallout uh, angry birds stuff like that it's it seems like too much of a task and it takes away from the fun of just turning off your brain and enjoying it that's my main concern i have no problem with adventure time i just don't watch it and and people can do that you you don't have to be those people that are like oh you don't like adventure time you need to go to hell I'm sure there's someone out there that's that feels that way. I don't know if they do. They're probably not socially inept to watch these things that I do, because they just don't get the point of an opinion. But I think my main point is that I don't really like cartoons that do too much. Shows can be funny and, and serious at the same time sometimes, but I think cartoons are hard to just try to make it everything, make a whole bunch of stuff go on at once. Um, with that being said, if you guys are younger than me and you've never heard of Rock Cross My Own Life or, um, you know, all these other shows, you can go out and check them out because those are some good stuff from back when I was growing up. Um, I guess that's it. The, that's the main point I want to get across. Um, if you get a chance to check out the Gravity Falls show, um, only did two seasons. You can watch it on Hulu. I believe it's on Hulu if you have it. I like to just binge watch that because it's just a fun show to watch. And, um, you know, it's got that, that feel of it, you don't have to be too young or too old to watch it. Um, again, you know, I don't want to start shit or whatever, people. But then again, you know, hey, put put your comments in, in the bottom. Put your comments in how you feel about this episode. That's fine. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Um, as you can see, I take comedy and writing very seriously because this is pretty pretty funny i wanted to put jokes in here but i felt like it would take away from the aspect of the episode and i think cartoons are one of the things i really do hold very close to my heart because it's something that's like video games has kept me um motivated and kept me um i guess focused focused motivated and also let me just turn off my brain i think that's why i love cartoons so much and, um, yeah, I, I appreciate you guys for listening. Thank you, and here's the assistant slash, you know, you all know it's Alexa, but, um, here she is with her ending quote. Saturday is this man's birthday, so make sure to send him funny vibrators. Alexa! Okay, send him a card or something. Alexa!